With onshapes pattern commands, you can select between a linear, circular, or curved pattern, as well as a mirror to determine the direction of the pattern. Patterning is used to replicate selected parts, faces, or features to create new parts, or to modify existing geometry by adding or removing material, or intersecting bodies in its path. Let's focus on the difference between patterning parts, features, or faces. In performing a part pattern, you will first choose the entities you would like to pattern, then the direction you want the pattern to occur. Note that you can select any entity in the Parts Studio to set a direction. When patterning, you will determine the distance between the pattern entities and the number of times you want the pattern to occur. As with all pattern types, you can choose the pattern to be centered to your seed instance and or choose to pattern in a second direction. This will be discussed in greater detail in future videos. When working with a part pattern, you must select a result body operation. The new option will result in new part copies being made of the pattern entity. An add operation will result in the pattern entities being combined with the parts chosen in the merge scope. A remove operation will remove material where the pattern entities intersect with the merge scope selections. Lastly, an intersect body operation will leave material where the pattern entities and merge selections overlap. Notice, if there is no overlap, a result of zero parts is acceptable. As a best practice, patterning parts in a part studio to create multiple instances is not recommended, as instancing parts will create new, unique parts and not group them in a proper bill of materials. The correct way is to pattern in an assembly, not with the pattern options in the Part Studio tab. A feature pattern can replicate a specific set of features chosen from the feature list. Make sure to select the associated features required so that they properly rebuild after being patterned. A feature pattern takes into account the end type of the seed and applies it to the resulting instances. Note if I pattern a hole that is terminating at a specific plane with the end type set up to face, the pattern instances will also terminate at the same plane. Using the face pattern, you can choose the faces you would like to repeat or make your selection with the right mouse create selection option. Here you can make face selections that make pockets, holes, or are tangent connected. Compared to a feature pattern, this pattern option is faster from a performance standpoint because it is replicating the selected geometry instead of applying the end type of each instance. Think of this as an exact duplication instead of being parametrically bound. If a face pattern and feature pattern type achieve the same geometry results, a face pattern is preferred because it performs faster. Patterns are a great way to replicate features, faces, and parts within a part studio.